Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about power transmission drives. Especially we are going to focus on the concept of the power transmission drives in this video. So let's see first of all the outlines of this session. First we will discuss about the power transmission drives. Then we will discuss about the selection of the belt drive. Next we will discuss about types of belt drives. And at last we will see types of belts. Now let's see one by one. Start with the introduction of power transmission drives. So here you can see these are the different types of the power transmission drive. Here you can see this is the belt drive. This one is the chain drive. The belts or ropes are used to transmit power from one shaft to the another shaft. Very simple. Here you can see the belt. So belts are used to generally transmit the power from one shaft to the another shaft. By means of pulleys, here you can see these are the pulleys. So by means of pulley you can do this thing. Which rotate at the same speed or at different speed. Here you can see the speed of this both pulleys are different because of the diameter is different. If you take the same diameter then you can transmit or you can rotate at the same speed. If you change the diameter then you can rotate with the different speed. So simply you can say by means of belt you can transmit the power from one shaft to the another shaft at same speed or at different speeds. The amount of power transmitted depends upon the following factors. First one, the velocity of the belt. So this is the parameter. If you increase the velocity of the belt, you can transmit more power. The tension under which the belt is placed on the pulley. So the tensile force that is in the belt, that is also one of the parameter. Next, the arc of contact. Especially this arc of contact that is at smaller pulley only. So here you can see the belt is contacted from here to here. So this is actually the contact angle of belt to the pulley. So if you increase the contact angle, there is a less chances of the slip and so that you can transmit more power. Next last one, the conditions under which the belt is used. So these are the four different parameters that depends on the amount of power transmitted. Next one, selection of belt drive. That depends on the number of parameters like first one, speed of the driving and driven shafts. If you consider this is as an input, then it is called as the driving shaft and this one is the driven shaft. So speed of the driving and driven shaft Based on that, you can select the belt drive. Next, speed reduction ratio. Here you can see the speed will reduce approximately, I think, one half because of the diameter is almost double. So that is also one of the parameter to select the belt drive. Next, power to be transmitted. That means how much amount of the power is required to transmit. Next, center distance between the shaft. Here you can see this is the driving shaft and this one is the driven shaft. And the distance between these two that is known as the center distance. Next, positive drive requirements. So if you don't want any type of the slip when you transmit the power from one shaft to the another shaft, then it is called as the positive drive. Next, shafts layout. That means the different types of the arrangement of the pulley with the belt. Next, space available. Next, service condition. So these are the different parameters for the selection of the belt drive. Now, next one, types of belt drives. Basically, there are three types of the belt drives. Light drives, medium drives and heavy drives. Now let's see one by one very briefly. First one light drives. These are used to transmit small powers at build speed up to 10 meter per second. 
as in agriculture machines and small machine tools. So here very important point. It is generally used to transmit small powers. At that time, build speed is up to 10 meters per second only. These light drives are generally used for the agriculture machines and small machine tools. Medium drives. These are used to transmit medium power at build speed over 10 meters per second. But once again, that is up to 22 meters per second only. These are generally used in machine tools. So once again compare these two, light drives are used for the small powers whereas medium drives are used for the medium power and if you compare the speed then for the medium drive it is more than 10 meter per second but it is up to 22 meter per second. Now the last one heavy drives, these are used to transmit large power at build speed above 22 meter per second that is generally used in compressors and generators so only you have to remember these two value 10 meter per second and 22 meter per second if it is less than 10 meter per second then it is for the light drives and it's more than 22 meter per second for the heavy drives and if it is in between 10 to 22 then it is for the medium drives now let's see the last one types of belts. So in this figure you can see there are three types of the belts generally used. Flat belt, here you can see this is the flat belt. Next V belt, here you can see the shape V. That's why it is called as V belt. And this is the circular belt. From this figure also you can understand the cross section is circle. That's why it is called as circular belt. In this figure also you can see flat belt having the rectangular cross section, V belt having the V shape that is actually trapezoidal cross section. Here this figure is for the belt but having multiple belt. Now let's see one by one. Basically there are three types of belt, flat belt, V belt and circular belt that is sometimes known as rope belt also. Now let's see one by one. First one, the flat belt as shown in figure A, here you can see, is mostly used in the factories and workshops where a moderate amount of power is to be transmitted. So if you want to transmit moderate amount of power from one pulley to another pulley, then you can use the flat belt. When two pulleys are 8 to 10 meters apart, with belt speed 22 meter per second. So once again, if the two pulleys, that means it is called as the center distance between the two pulleys. So if the center distance is 8 to 10 meters only, then you can use the flat belt. But once again, at that time the belt speed is 22 meter per second only. Now for the V belt, the V belt as shown in this figure B, is mostly used in the factories and workshop like as flat belt. Here, amount of power is also same, moderate amount of power, but the important parameter is now changed. When the two pulleys are very near to each other, that is approximately 4 meters, with belt speed 24 meter per second. So now you can compare it, both these things. Both are used for the moderate amount of power, but the difference is about the distance. Here you can see for the flat belt it is 8 to 10 meters, for V belt it is up to 4 meters only. The speed is changed. In case of flat belt, speed is up to 22 meter per second, but here it is 24 meter per second. Now the third one, circular belt. Here in this figure you can see the cross section. The circular belt, sometimes it is called as the rope belt, as shown in figure C, is mostly used in the factories and workshop like as in case of the flat belt and V belt. 
here in this figure also you can see this is a row belt where a great amount of the power is to be transmitted. So in case of the flat belt and V belt, the amount of the power is moderate. But in case of the circular belt or we can say the rope belt, the great amount of the power is to be transmitted. When the two pulleys are more than 8 meters apart with belt speed less than 3 meters per second. So here the very important thing belt speed is less than 3 meter per second. If a huge amount of the power is required to transmit, then a single belt may not be sufficient. So if you want to transmit huge amount, then single rope is not enough. So at that time you can use the multiple rope. Here you can see. In such a case, Wide pulleys, here you can see wide pulleys for V belt or circular belts with a number of grooves are used. Thanks, my dear friends, for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.